Well, hello and welcome to our September meeting, which is also the eighth birthday of the North Norfolk Filling Station. We've been so incredibly blessed since meetings started at Swantonovas in September 2012, guided by that essential signage faithfully erected each month by David Moore and informed by our administrators, first Savina and followed by Tasha. And now we've been blessed so richly with our inspiring speakers, many of whom were first timers to North Norfolk, gifted worship leaders led by Stephen and then by Noel, and facilitated by Chris Lay's powerful PowerPoints. Amazing answers to prayer included so many miracle stories and testimony to the presence and power of our Father God. There have also been our times of fellowship over these delicious refreshments provided so faithfully by Rosalie and Philip and co-hosted by our other team members, Margaret, who can forget her delicious brownies, and Mike and Louise and Lance. And of course, not forgetting those many and varied creative table decorations done by Annie. And then came lockdown in late March and the need to provide an alternative online, faithfully delivered each month by John and Tasha. And now, six months later, due to the continuing and growing uncertainties that remain over restoring live meetings safely and comfortably, we have concluded that, frustratingly, we must stay online. And so, as a host team, we've decided to use this next season to take a sabbatical. Whether that's going to be until next spring or perhaps longer, we just need sufficient time to pause and reflect on the future of this filling station. But we're not alone in this because not only is the executive and the trustees of the National Filling Station movement working through these issues at the present time, but there are many other filling stations who stayed active during lockdown who are going through the same process. So please pray for wisdom and revelation for them and for us at the North Norfolk Filling Station's host team. And now to this online meeting. So let's pause for a moment. Let's reflect on his word, which comes from Psalm 34, and I'm reading from the New Living Translation. I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak his praises. I will boast only in the Lord. Let all who are helpless take heart. Come, let us tell the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt his name together. I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Those who look to him will be radiant with joy. No shadow of shame will darken their faces. So taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, the joys of those who take refuge in him. And finally, whatever time you are actually viewing this YouTube clip, please can we invite you to watch the entirety of it so it can bless you and inspire you in the way in which we so desire. And thank you for participating in this occasion.